Howdy guys, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how we can generate an executable file from a .NET or .NET Core project inside of Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So what is really an executable file? So an executable file contains an executable program for Windows. Execute exe is short for executable and it is the standard file extension used by Windows programs. So for many Windows users, exe files are synonymous with Windows programs, making .exe one of the most recognizable file extensions. So rather than just talking too much, let's get to it then. So what we do is we're just going to create a very simple .NET ap application or a .NET project. Then we will try and generate an executable file from that project. So that sounds very simple and that is exactly how it is. So we're just going to go ahead and create a console application. So as you can see, I've already got one created, so there's no need for that. But if you haven't, create a new console application. You can do that by clicking on a create a new project. And then selecting the C sharp or VB, whatever language that you want. Then you can you can either double click it or click the next. Select the, I mean configure the project details and whatnot. We're not gonna look too much into that. So as you can see here now, we've got a very simple C sharp console application created yeah so this is how we can actually generate an executable from this this project so we can do that by right clicking the project that we want to generate from so then we click on the publish so you'll be prompted with this dialogue here so from here you can publish it directly to Windows Azure so as you can see, so publish your application to Microsoft Cloud. Or you can you can you can publish it into a Docker. Or it's so our Docker container registry. So you can also publish it into a local folder or a local file system on your computer. Or you can also actually import the settings from an external from an external server or external computer so in this case what we do is we're just gonna publish it on a local computer so we select the folder so once we select the folder this is where we this is what actually happens yeah we come to the click once so the click once is when publishing a click once application for the first time the published properties can be set using the the publish wizard only a few of the properties are available in the wizards all the other properties are set to their default values yeah so we click on that to see what actually comes out so here so this is where we can select the published location right we can either we can browse the, the exact location or we can put it inside this the publish the being published and then we can click on the next so here we can actually specify what link it will be the update will be coming from is it going to be from a website or from unc path or it's a file share or it's from a cd so basically we're just going to skip this bit here we're just going to say from a cd dvd or usb so here so we can check on this box if you want an automatic update right so here we can also put our version, I mean, version number or whatever, or build number, whatever we want to put here. Then we can select next, and here we can also add more information to the manifest. And then we can go into the last conf config. So here you can also actually configure the target framework, the deployment mode, target runtime, and some configurations as well. So, the next bit of course is we finish it 
So now we've got this bit here. So deploy your app to the folder ISS Azure and another destinations, right? So here you can rename, you can delete, or we can go ahead and, and publish it. So this is exactly what we do. So we click on the publish. So this might take a few moments. So as you can see here now, we've got the, the published successful. So we can actually go click on the open the published location to get into where we've got the executables located. So this is what actually this is what we got so if we look at it here we've got um, this bit here which is the the setup and this is the launcher so if we look at the properties here so as you can see at the type of the file is application this dot exe it's an executable so basically if you want to run the application this is where this is if you double click this bit here you get that application run it might take a while I'm not sure but let me double click it again but anyway that's what actually happened so what I'm gonna do is just gonna click on the setup so once you click on the setup here so the publishers cannot be I mean, verified and whatnot. So it's not really important. So you're gonna have to install it. So it, it actually opened on, on, on my other windows, but it, it, it was very quick. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna come inside the code and make a very quick change here. So we're gonna put a console dot read line. So console.readline, line, we save it, we go through the same procedure, publish. So now we can click on this bit here, publish. So we come back to the to the folder, click on the now it's not installed, so I'm just gonna install it first. okay so it actually ran by it's on my other screen so i'm just going to grab it here so as you can see here this is where the application is located so it's just a bunch of crap but obviously it actually shows you where the application is so as you can see it's a very simple stuff so what i'm going to do is just going to leave it here I mean, you can do pretty much to, uh, the same to other applications like um, uh, WPF, WinForms and whatnot. So you can go ahead and use the same procedure on other projects to see what actually happens. So if you've got any, any problem, just drop a line and I'll do my best to reply as soon as possible. So have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace and catch up on my next video. Bye-bye.